Good morning and welcome to Embedded World in Nuremberg. I am Rich Nass with Open Systems Media and I'm here with Steve Douglas, a Senior Vice President with Lattice Semiconductor. And I'm sure you already know this, but Lattice is one of the leaders in low power FPGAs. Steve gave a keynote address this morning and just for you folks out there, we wanna ask Steve for a quick summary of what that talk covered. Yeah, so um, basically the keynote was really focused on some of the new technology trends that are going on out there today. Um, not only do we have a very connected world, but we have uh, a lot of devices that are armed with a lot of sensors generating mm -hmm. massive amounts of data. Um, but a lot of these devices are becoming a lot more intelligent. We have mm -hmm. a lot of AI being added. And in the case of AI, a lot of times the computation has to be done locally on the device. There's no time to wait right to out send at the, the data. At, at the edge where the data is. Yeah, exactly. Right where the device is and where, right at the sensor where the devices uh, are generating the data. You don't have time to ship the data off to the cloud, do some analytics and come back. You need to do real time processing of the data. And so that's really driving the need for a lot more power efficient compute uh, in the edge devices themselves. Okay, so we talked about power efficient. What sort of power levels are you talking about? Well, uh, it varies from application to application, uh, but you look at uh, a lot of devices out there, they're operating uh, off a battery or very low profile devices. So sometimes it's, uh, you know, in the hundreds uh, of milliwatts to a mm -hmm. watt. Maybe it uh, bumps up to a few watts, but it's pretty low power profile. Okay, so the question I get all the time, why FPGA? Why not stick an MCU out there? Well, you can certainly stick an MCU out there, and a lot of times that can do a lot of the functionality that you need to do. They can run AI algorithms. The problem is if you need more performance, if you need to get uh, a lot more horsepower and do a lot more calculations, you know, uh, sequential computing with MCUs and CPUs, it's really running out of gas, and you need something like an FPGA mm -hmm. to provide hardware acceleration to get the job done. Okay. I've also heard of this concept called adaptive computing. Yes. What exactly is that? So um, there's adaptive computing uh, is a term that's uh, used in the industry in different ways. I prefer the term adaptable. Um, and I think it's important to build in the flexibility into your system to change over time, right? Um, a lot of times with all these advancements in technology, you want to harness all these this new technology with new features in your part, but you don't have time to do a grounds up redesign and redeploy it to the field. If only you had an FPGA. You, exactly. <laughs> and the nice part about an FPGA is you can update it and upgrade it after it's been deployed in the field. Just like you can update the software running on a CPU, you download a new bitstream on the FPGA, you can upgrade the functionality of the hardware in situ without having to take out the hardware and replace it with a new design. And is Lattice enabling that through its own technology, through its ecosystem, through both? Uh, pretty much through both. Uh, we have a whole collection of our own development tools, both FPGA and embedded design tools, but we also offer pre-engineered software and hardware IP that helps customers build reference designs and full solutions a lot more quickly. And we have a whole ecosystem of partners that develop IP and software solutions as well. In fact, over the last few years, we started uh, offering what we call solution stacks, and uh, that's targeting a particular application. And we have pre-engineered solution stacks for doing edge AI, we've got them for security, we have them for industrial automation. A lot of these types of applications are what people are trying to design systems for on the edge. And by giving them these uh, solution stacks, it helps them get a running head start to get the design uh, built and to market more quickly. Good stuff, thanks yeah. Steve. Thank you. Appreciate yep. it. That was Steve Douglas from Lattice Semi and I'm Rich Nass with Open Systems Media.